I mean, I think technology just makes delivery of things that traditionally took forever much more efficient, right? If you think about Uber, if you think about Airbnb, if you think about, you know, DoorDash, uh, none of those companies are changing consumer behavior. They're not trying to get consumers to do something they've never done before. What they do is make delivery of those things much more efficient than has ever existed before. So I think it's the same thing that we're doing. We're not trying to change the nature of what investors do. We're just trying to make it much easier for them to get access to real estate deals and invest in those deals. And on the other side of the marketplace, make it much easier for real estate companies that have always been raising capital in a much more inefficient way to get that capital by leveraging technology. So Realty Shares is an online marketplace for real estate investing. I think the biggest value proposition we provide our users, our customers, is we allow those investors to invest as little as 5,000 US dollars across deals all over the country from the convenience of their laptop or tablet. So we eliminate all the inefficiencies that have inherently existed within real estate, allow them to invest more, much more easily and with smaller check sizes than they could if they were doing it offline. The biggest issue in real estate, um, and you have to approach it from the side of either the investor or the borrower because the problems are different, but one issue is um, inefficiency in how investing and raising capital works. So if, traditionally, if you wanted to invest in real estate, let's say you didn't want to buy a property and become a landlord, you just wanted to get exposure to real estate and earn returns, you would have to find somebody with the property and typically invest $100,000 and um, do it you know, offline so it takes a lot more time. Uh, what we're able to do with technology is bring deals to the investor, allow them to invest in deals not only in their backyard, which is how typically in real estate's work traditionally, but also across the country for as little as $5,000. So we're taking all the pain points that have existed with real estate, it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of money, requires access to deals given by specific operators, and removing all those barriers to entry. When I was, uh, in 2010, when I was buying real estate uh, investments and properties, I was trying to get financing. I was trying to raise capital from both friends and family and banks. And that process was the hardest part about getting deals done in that market. And that's exactly actually what gave me the idea behind Realty Shares because I was going through this, the same inefficiencies our customers go through every day. And I think it, the reason I think uh, I'm in a unique position in terms of running this company is because I lived those inefficiencies. But that's where I spent uh, my time prior to founding the company. And quite frankly, I think one of the important elements of being an entrepreneur and being successful is, you know, why are you doing what you're doing? Like, why are you creating this company? For me, I knew this was going to be a big company and I knew it will be a big company because I knew there was a real need for this platform because I myself was trying to raise capital and realize just how inefficient the banking process is in the US. So just having so much conviction for what I'm doing and what we're building here made the decision to jump ship. Not easy, but something I was willing to do, take on that risk, you know, give up a six figure salary because I believe so much in the mission and I have an itch to you know, build something. I mean, if you look at uh, investment in the uh, U.S. real estate market. Annually, one of the biggest investors is China behind Canada. So there's a lot of appetite for um, for U.S. real estate amongst foreign investors. Um, same with Japan. I mean, we're talking to some parties in Japan. Uh, so we're very excited about potential partnerships with investors in Asia and in Europe. And, you know, I'm actually going out in summer to, to sort of talk to some of these potential partners. Um, because we think there's so much appetite for U.S. real estate in the foreign markets and we want to be able to capitalize on that.